Hello, welcome or welcome back. I hate doing the welcome or welcome back, like hello moment. It just sounds so weird and like fake and forced, but like you've got to intro like say hello. Like you don't just come in and start talking, you've got to say hello. So this week I wanted to do another like reading vlog situation. And at first I was like, okay, I guess I could just do like a standard, like, okay, what I read in a week. So I was like, okay, let me do like a fun like idea rather than just like doing a standard, like, you know, what do I want to read? So what I decided to do was go on Goodreads and look up all the books on my TBR and I'm going to be reading the highest rated book on my TBR and then the lowest rated book on my TBR because number one I love getting books off my TBR there's nothing if there's the only thing that feels more accomplished than finishing a book is finishing a book that was on your TBR for that month like no better more like <laughs> I'm on it I'm on it bitch feeling than that so we're gonna be knocking two off and yeah i'm excited about it and through all the books my tbr as you can see i've got some really fun reads coming up i have seven books on my tbr so it pretty much just has a top and a bottom we're gonna go with the middle book first work our way down to the bottom then go back up to the top that's how we're gonna do it middle book was what the river knows i guess you could say it got fourth place on my goodreads ratings four star rating which is pretty good i if that's the middle point i feel like we've got some pretty high rated books going on then the next lower rated book was done and dusted this was a 3.95 which honestly that was higher than i expected because i've seen mixed reviews on this next so the second lowest was wildfire and honestly i was expecting this to be the lowest it was 3.91 which actually is higher than i expected i was expecting like a 3 to 3.5 star rating on this i'm actually happy that it didn't come up because i wanted to read this on holiday so yeah so the lowest rated book ended up being girl abroad by l kennedy so this is l kennedy's new release i am so excited about reading this because i love l kennedy's books and i was a little bit shocked that this was the lowest rated it had 3.7 and when it came up i was like okay so i guess obviously it's new so it's not gonna have that many ratings so maybe that's why but i was like i don't know if that's true though because surely a smaller rating pool you could have a better chance of having a higher rating right i'm expecting higher than that i'm expecting it to be like a four something four stars maybe a little bit higher maybe a 4.5 but yeah girl abroad back to the bottom working our way back up the third highest rated book hunting prince dracula um by kerry mascalco this again kind of shocking i rated the first book in this series like a three star 3.5 maybe sure so second place highest rated was voyage of the damned this is by gorgeous lou mccray cover i wasn't shocked for this to be higher this was a 4.24 i don't think this had that many ratings if i'm remembering correctly it won't be this one but this got second place maybe you should read it if you're interested our first place highest rated book on my tbr play with me by becca mack i have talked endlessly about the playing for keep series um by becca mack loves the first one five star loved the third one like that was like a 4.75 i've already started this before like over a year ago probably i read it when it was on kindle unlimited and i dnf'd it i dnf'd it i don't know if i really gave it a chance so i put it on my tbr again so i could give it a chance basically i'm very excited that this came up this had a 4.26 and i was shocked i was a little bit shocked to be honest that it was the highest rated on my tbr i don't know why because obviously i love the books but i still found it a little bit like oh didn't expect that but yeah a 4.26 i felt like that was a pretty high rating there we are girl abroad play with me not too dissimilar books if you ask me this is a hockey romance el kenny nadi does have a very popular hockey romance series this isn't a hockey romance but hey i see the connection both very pretty books this is a book prettier i'm not gonna lie but i do like this cover i'm just rambling now i'm gonna start one of these later today i'm not sure which one i should start first i'm gonna start with this one girl abroad because i'm more excited about this one even though it's lower rated okay i'll see you in a bit when i've started the book until then get out of my house 
Okay, hello, it's much later and I have of course changed my mind because at the end of the day I am simply a girl and that is something that I am entitled to do. Okay, I'm going to start with play with me because I'm about to take my dog on a walk and I would like to listen to something good. Why not uh, listen to an audiobook? And I just ventured online and I was like, okay, well, I don't really want to listen to this on audiobook. I'd rather read this. I could start the audiobook of this. I DNF'd it so it might be nice to just get in through like 50, 100 pages of it just with my ears and then I'm in and then, you know, it started and it takes the, the you know, starting the first few pages of book that you're not sure about is hard. Like it's hard to make yourself read it. The only thing is that the audiobook for this series are only available on Audible. And I do have some time left on um, my Spotify, so I'd rather use that because I don't get my next monthly credit <laughs> until the 6th and it's the 4th. So should I just wait two days? Yeah. Am I going to wait two days? <laughs> That's such a stupid question. That question is actually beyond me. No, of course I'm not going to wait two days. I'm going to pay $7.99. I'm going to go. I'm going to go walk and listen to this book. This video is going to be an absolute mess. I can already feel it. Okay, I'm on like chapter two and I am not sure about this video. But so far, I've only had the voice actors, the male voice actor, talking. And it's just very <laughs> gruff <laughs> and off putting. <laughs> Like it's making me really cringe. So yeah, <laughs> but I bought it. <laughs> okay, hello everybody. I um, I should have prepared this before I started filming. <laughs> God, audiobooks do not make you read faster. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I definitely listen to audiobooks slower than i read okay i am like halfway through chapter six of play with me i've still been listening to it it's it's fun so far one thing that i really like about these books is like it is just like little fun scenarios kind of you know what a one shot is when people like like that's like a wattpad girly thing like one shots they're like on tumblr where it's like just like a scene like this scenario. I feel like this is kind of like follows that in a way that it's just like lots of like little, I don't know what, maybe is that episodic? Ooh, ooh, that's a big word. I am struggling with the the male audio narrator's voice because it's so like gruff. Like it's just like funny. Like it's so gruff that it's funny. I should play it for you, but it's on my phone. I'll see if I can be asked to get it on some other device but I really like Jenny who's like our main girl in this book which kind of makes sense because she's literally described as the female version of Carter from the first book because they're siblings so like I like their personalities I guess I could tell you a little bit about so obviously we have the first book which is Carter and Olivia and Carter and Olivia is it Olivia or Olive what do they just call her Olive I don't know but Carter and uh, O ollie carter is like the captain of his hockey team and then this guy garrett is also on his hockey team and they're like all friends and then jenny is carter's sister and she is a ballet dancer i think and jenny ends up moving into the same apartment building or whatever building as garrett so carter kind of asks him to look over her a bit but he already has like a massive crush on her like he really fancies her and he gets really nervous around her. So yeah, I feel like it has all of like the elements of something that I would love, but I don't know what about it. I'm just, I, cause I like Garrett and I like Jenny, but I'm just like, I don't know. This is also, I believe, Friends with Benefits to a relationship, which I don't love that trope just because I prefer there to be like a bit more of like a emotional build up for me personally. I'm gonna 
continue listening and maybe i don't know maybe i could do some crocheting oh who is this creepy simon okay i need to see if i can remember how to do this yes jenny i'm literally listening right now and she just kicked someone in the balls yeah jenny what the hell jenny she said no it's not fucking rocket science <laughs> I'm still listening to the audiobook. Literally, it's playing on my ear right. I'm trying to talk and listen. Whoa, too much. I'm overstimulated. I think I'm going to try and clean my bathroom because it is literally the messiest it has been in, since I moved into this room. So, yeah. I'm going to try and do that before dinner because it's like five. As you can see, it's dark. I should turn the light on, but it, whatever. I'm going to do that and keep listening. I'm on like... Halfway through chapter A, and each chapter takes like between 20 and 30 minutes to listen to. As I said, I feel like I could read them quicker than that. <laughs> I'm about 100 pages in and now that I'm in bed I think I'm going to switch over to the book for a bit read for a bit before I go to sleep enjoying it so far I think I am not as connected to the characters I don't know if that's just like because maybe I just don't feel that connected to the characters or maybe it's because I've been listening to it and not reading it yeah but I will talk to you again tomorrow <laughs> Hello, good morning, <laughs> party people. Um, it is cool. <sighs> Look at this. If you can't tell, I put some like um, mix into moisturizer, tanning face drops on, and they've just gotten so. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I just woke up, it's like ten, a quarter to ten, so I'm late. Not that I actually like have to wake up at a certain time technically you know I'm a morning person and it just makes me feel better to be up early but I'm gonna try and still have a good day rather than just being pissed off that I woke up <laughs> late all day I only read like one more chapter of this last night so I'm like 115 ish pages in one thing that I really really don't understand is the the guy in this his personality is usually a personality that I would really like. He's kind of like a golden retrievery kind of character, I guess, which I usually like. But when you compare it to Carter Beckett from the first book, it's just, he's just, there's no competition. I feel like maybe that's it, but like I said, I enjoyed the third one. So no, I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm going to get ready for the day, wash my hair because... Looks good. And also I need to try and scrub my face. Oh, that is abysmal. Guys, blend it into your hairline apparently. But I don't want fucking moisturiser in my hair. I don't know. Maybe I'll sit here and read a chapter. 
I could do that. I could probably do that. Hello, I am now clean, which is nice. I just hit like 200 pages in the book. It's like, it's just fine, which is annoying because I just love the other books in the series, but I don't know. And also another thing, because I don't love the, um, like a friends with benefits to lovers trope. Like I just don't love it at all. And it's also kind of like forbidden romancy because Jenny is um, the little sister of Garrett's captain on this hockey team. So it's kind of a little bit forbidden. I just, I don't know. I need to really, really like the book in order to like enjoy those kind of tropes where it's like, we don't really like each other. Like I'm, I like I have feelings, but I'm not going to tell them. I like when people are really upfront in books, like just really honest and clear about how they feel. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna um do some other bits and bobs right now. I'll probably start editing this, and then I will continue reading later. yesterday I literally was about to go to sleep and just thought oh shit I didn't <laughs> like update the video got to I'm like halfway through chapter 25 so I'm about like 285 pages through the book I struggle with this because I hear so much most of the time when I hear people talking about this series because I don't hear people talking about it all that much maybe I'm on the wrong side of the internet I don't know but I hear them saying that this one's their favorite I guess we're just different people, different strokes for different folks, because there's just nothing special about this book for me. And the other books in the series, there is that something special. There's like that extra thing that makes me obsessed with the characters that makes me feel like I've just been sucked into the story and I can't stop turning the page. I just don't feel that with this. It's pretty standard. To be fair, it's like maybe I'm judging it harsher because I have such high expectations of the series. But honestly, to be honest, I've been thinking about it. I'm like, I think that's fair enough. I'm allowed to have high expectations. So yeah, it's just not doing it for me, to be honest. Like, I'm not, like, wanting to read it. I'm reading it for the video. Like, to be honest, if I wasn't filming this, I'd probably just DNF at this point because I know what's going to happen in the rest of this book. They're going to finally start dating they're gonna their her brother's gonna find out he's gonna be pissed off for a little bit and then he's gonna get over it and then it's gonna be happy ever after okay last 100 pages let's wrap this shit up because I'm bored and I'm tired. Okay, as you may have noticed from my previous clip, I just finished Play With Me. Thank fucking God. <laughs> I'm not going to really go into any more about how I feel about this book because I feel like I made it pretty clear. I think it's good, but it's just not my favourite. It's not lived up to the rest of the series for me. I'm going to rate it, I think, a free start. I feel pretty confident in that. Uh, yeah. All I'm going to say is you should definitely try this series. If you read the first book and love it, amazing. If you don't, maybe try the second one. You might like it more. Hey. Different strokes for different folks. And if you read the first one, love it. Get to the second one, you're like, I don't know if I want to continue this. 
I would at least try the third because I love the third. That's all I have to say. I don't know how I felt about the audiobook of the book. Like, I just think that the choice of the guy for it was an interesting one because his voice, like I've said, literally the gruffest thing you've ever heard. And obviously, I wish that they would like do something about this. Obviously, when it's split peer, split peer V, if like the girl talks while you're in the man's POV, the man audio person is going to put on a girl voice. And there were a lot of times in this book when Jenny was getting upset about something during Garrett's POV and then the guy, literally his voice would, he would talk like this and it was like, oh, I'm just like fucking pissed off when she's like actually like really upset. <laughs> it just made me laugh. So I... I don't know, maybe that had an effect of like why I felt like I couldn't connect to it because she's like getting really upset about something, like genuinely. And I'm laughing because, <laughs> oh, she just sounds like this and she just sounds pissed off. Like, oh. But yeah. <laughs> kitchen to tell you about girl abroad um i started this last night but literally read like a couple pages now i'm at the end of chapter three so still at the start but fun opening you know i've got good vibes as i've said i just love l kennedy's writing i know i think i've seen a lot of like people say like for example her avalon bay series is like pretty mid-tier like it's okay but it's nothing special I really liked it so I was very excited going into this. It's about this girl Abby who I think her dad is like a famous rock star or something but he's like doesn't do that anymore. He's a very protective father like he feels guilty probably about like stuff he did when she was really young so he tries really hard to be like a really good father which kind of verges into a bit overprotective. So she's ended up like trying to break out and she's gone to London for a year abroad and she gets to her house share apartment place whatever house thing and uh all her roommates are boys and she's like oh shit and that's all I'm up to now a couple things that I want to speculate on when she was arriving at the apartment she goes oh the driver said that he knows where Notting Hill is Notting Hill Notting Hill London Notting Hill I was like, okay, okay. Like, I know Notting Hill to be a really expensive, nice area of London, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna speculate too much. Maybe that there's a lot of uni accommodation in Notting Hill that I don't know about. Who's to say? And then she gets there and she's like, this beautifully decorated apartment or house, really beautiful. I was like, hmm, a uni accommodation with functioning furniture that doesn't have mould in all the windows. Now that just does not sound like the UK I know. So yeah, I think they're all really rich. I believe one of her roommates is like arist like part of like higher society. Um, and they all seem to be really well off. So that's good for them. I was just confused for a minute. I was like, this is not this is not <laughs> the uni experience that I know and love. Know and tolerate. No and was forced to endure. I feel like some of the charm of it is like that you're living in squalor for a couple of years, but like it's fine. You're like, yeah, this is what it is. They've also kind of said like, no dating. We've had issues before with 
our old flatmate and one of the flatmates like dating and it ending badly so none of us are no interconnecting situations but she fancies one of her flatmates so she says that they're all fit but she really fancies one of them and he's a rugby player apparently but he is blonde which is different but he's australian so it's like chris hemsworth blonde Okay, hello, I've just eaten my breakfast and now I've sat down with my book. Um, as much as I would love to just sit and read all day. My grandparents are coming to visit this weekend and I told my mum I would give the house a nice clean so it's all nice and ready for them. So I'm gonna have to do that and I can't really read one hand like a thing in the other cleaning up, you know? But I'm gonna sit here, read a chapter or two then get to that and I will get back to you when I'm done. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. I feel like tasks, tasks like that usually take me less time than I think. So we could be done by midday. Just sit here, read a chapter and then. Oh God, she's talking about like walking around Notting Hill and the little cafe, like going to little cafes and into like the parks and the gardens and ugh, what a dream got cheer season two okay hello people i'm back from cleaning my hair has fallen apart don't look at, don't look at me um it's like quarter past two if you could have seen that it's quarter past two and i'm just reading a bit more of the book i'm like on page 50 and i'm talking very fast because I'm enjoying it. It's making me go like this. It is a love triangle if you don't know, which I know. That's not my fave trope. I know it's not really anyone's fave trope. But in the context of like a girl on her year abroad, like this whole new group of people, like doing things you never usually do, just having like a fun hot girl time. Could be kind of fun, don't we think? Could be kind of fun. Fun, not fun. Fun. Yeah, right now they're like sat at a um, bar after they just watched this one band play and she immediately fancies the bassist and then the bassist comes over and he kisses a girl at the table and she's like, shit. And now she's like pinging back and forth between her roommate that she fancies and this bassist like, ah. So I'm just trying to, oh, oh, oh. Oh, just trying to read my book. Oh, thank you so much. This is not at all what I expected from like study abroad in London situation. They're going to fucking polo matches. They're going to fucking estates and shit and like buying portraits and just weird things. It's all very fancy schmancy. Do you hear that? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, chip it up, dude. Can you believe it? Okay, I passed the 100 page mark a while ago. I think I'm on page 133. Really enjoying it, having a good time. The only thing that I'm slightly confused about is we really haven't seen much of all of the second love interest. Like, I think he's only been in two scenes. So I'm wondering if there's going to be more of him. And I'm also wondering if she's going to end up with either of them or if it's going to be like a, you know, just leave after the year kind of thing. I don't know. I had the craziest dream last night and I thought my face really says, like, slept hard. <laughs> okay <laughs> we really are coming leaps and bounds with this book. I am on page 208 so last book I read that I really really loved was saving six and then i started redeeming six right after it but i'm only i'm halfway through that and i stopped because it's like 900 pages and i wanted to film this video and just like read something else for a bit 
so I felt like I was in a little bit of a slump and then play with me didn't really help <laughs> feeling like I was in a bit of a slump but I'm really really enjoying this it's really fun um to be honest like I'm not really invested in either of the guys in the love triangle I feel like they're both just like kind of stupid and like emotionally unintelligent and like that they are obviously both interested in her but neither one of them is willing to do anything about it so I'm like okay I don't care about you at all but there's another storyline going on that's kind of like a historical mystery which is really really fun I'm really enjoying that element of the book and it's a lot more than I thought it would be like that's probably just as much as both of the other like loves like relationship storylines combined which is fun so yeah I'm having a good time I'm gonna go have a shower now sort myself out because I'm a bad it just goes to show Goodreads what are they Goodreads ratings on everything you never know you should trust your own judgment over a Goodreads rating because I said from the start I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this more I'm really enjoying it <laughs> It's um a bit later in the day, it's probably like midday. Just had lunch and I have been reading Girl Abroad. I've really been flying through it. Having a fantastic time. Nearly 300 pages in. So I am getting towards the last 100 pages, which once you were at the last 100 pages, you're basically done, let's be real. How do I feel about the book? As I said, really, really enjoying it. Again, I feel like the love triangle might put some people off but I feel like this is a love triangle done right because she doesn't actually have any commitment to either of the guys like and they feel the same everybody's kind of like okay this is this is not exclusive we're still open like I just like you but I don't know how I feel blah 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 they're both kind of like not into being attached which is like okay go get lost though get lost then but um at one point in the book I was pretty much like okay clearly it's this guy what are we doing like I still have like 200 pages left and clearly this is the winner I'm sold and then 25 pages later the other guy comes back and he's giving something and I'm like okay well now I'm not sure I don't know how it's gonna end up I do know who I think she should end up with and I feel pretty confident that that is probably how it's gonna progress but I don't know because Still pretty, you know, could go either way. I hit 300 pages and everything's still like kosher, no relationships or official situations. One party of the triangle knows about the other party and the other person made it very clear. I don't want to do anything exclusive. Um, so everything's kosher, but it is getting to like the sticky point where she's like, I, uh, I need to make a decision and I can't keep doing this. I'm getting stressed out now because I thought I knew for sure who it was going to be. And now I'm a little, 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 now I'm a little bit less sure. But I think I'm right because I think she has more of like an emotional connection with one of them. And I think he more like fits what she wants to do with the rest of her life. Like, or just like what she wants in the next few years kind of situation or what she needs and now i hope i'm right ah! okay 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 the girls are fighting the girls are fighting let's get a little bit tense up in here and when i say girls i mean the boys by the girls i mean the boys the girls are fighting <laughs> i mean stop but carry on stop but I'm actually getting kind of frustrated right now, which isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing when I feel like actual emotions and like passionate about a book. But I don't know why my girl, I can't really tell you anything, but I can just tell you how I'm feeling about it. My girl in this book is just taking like people telling her that she's like having a go at her right now. People are having a go at her right now and she hasn't done anything wrong. She can actually do what she wants and you do not get to place these expectations on someone and just like have a go like that's your problem 
She doesn't have to tell you anything. It's her fucking life, you weirdo. Go look after your cat that you adopted and then abandoned. So sorry. Someone had to say it. It's gonna be me. Okay, so it's much later. It's like half nine, but my grandparents arrived today. So I've just been spending time with them and with my mum. But I have gotten through a lot of girl abroad. Um, yeah, I'm on chapter, can you see? Chapter 51 about 400 pages so I have like 20 pages left if that so yeah I'm gonna finish this up I will either tell you what I think now or in the morning depending how tired I am and yeah I'm gonna finish I've had a great time reading this book you can't tell and hopefully it's good good ending I'm still not sure what's about to happen yeah <laughs>